Okay, hello and welcome to the trucks journal entries. So this problem is going to ask us to journalize for the purchase and sell of some trucks and depreciate them using double declining balance. I would consider this a fairly comprehensive problem for fixed assets that really shows you how a company goes about keeping up with the different assets and depreciating them and selling them. So we'll be calculating some gain or loss as we go. All right, so the instructions are on the first sheet and the journal that we can type into is on the second sheet. So what I like to do is see everything on one page. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go to um, view and I'm going to say new window and that is going to allow me to open up separate windows and see both at the same time because that's what I like to do. So this is one and then this is the other. Okay, so it says that the following transactions were completed by Toby Company um, during a three-year period and all are related to the use of delivery equipment. So it needs to tell us that so that we know that this is used for our business. So this is depreciable assets, fixed assets, and that we are going to be using the double declining balance. So what you need to know for double declining balance is, first of all, the formula that you need to have memorized, which is going to be, um, I've given it to you down here, net book value times one divided by estimated life times two. So one divided by estimated life gives you the straight line percentage. Then you double that to get your double declining balance percentage. Net book value um, has a lot of information in it. So for the first year, it is just the cost of the asset, all right, because you haven't depreciated it yet. For the second year, it is the cost of the asset minus the amount that you depreciated from the first year. The next year is the cost of the asset minus what you depreciated for the previous two years. So just remember that accumulated depreciation, we use that word right here when we describe what net book value is, is the cost of the asset minus accumulated depreciation, which means all the amounts that you've depreciated it prior to. All right, so that's how we calculate it. And then when we go to calculate a gain or loss, we're going to say the cost of the asset minus all of the depreciation that you've had to date, which is your accumulated depreciation. And then that gets you to your book value. And then you're going to compare that to cash proceeds and determine if it's a gain. It's a gain if you got more money than the book value is. It's a loss if you got less money than the book value. All right, and we'll be doing it several times. So that'll be a good example. All right, so let's start with 2018. Purchase a used delivery truck number one for $28,000 paying cash. So we're just going to call this truck number one. And that's the name of our asset. And we bought it for $28,000. And it says that we purchased it for cash, which means that cash goes down. So we'll credit cash for $28,000. All right. Paid $675 for miscellaneous repairs to the truck. So miscellaneous repairs are considered a short-lived expenditure. So we call that a revenue expenditure. And for revenue expenditures, we debit um, an expense account. So we'll call this repair expense. And we pay cash for that, so cash goes down. So expenses go up with a debit, and cash goes down with a credit. And then we consider that a revenue expenditure because it didn't add to the useful life and it didn't add to the value of the asset lasting over than a year. All right, on 1231, we record depreciation on the truck for the year. The estimated useful life of the truck is four years and we use double declining balance. So first, let's figure out what our double declining balance percentage will be. So straight line percentage would be calculated as one divided by four, which is 25%. And we double that, so we say that times 2, which is 50%. And then we're going to multiply that by the book value of the asset. Well, right now the book value is just $28,000 because we haven't depreciated it yet. So when I multiply that, I get 14000 because that's 50% times 28000 so the depreciation that I need to take from January to December 31st is $14,000. So the entry for depreciation expense is always depreciation expense 
and accumulated depreciation, and technically I should write for truck number one so that we know which one it goes with. And again, that's $14,000 as we calculated it using double declining balance percentage method. All right, we're on to 2019. We purchased a new truck, number two, for $48,000 paying cash. So let's buy truck number two. We debit the asset. I'm just calling it truck number two. And we credit cash because it says that we paid cash for it. And it was $48,000. Now we're going to sell truck number one for $15,000, but before we can sell it, we need to show depreciation. We need to make a journal entry for depreciation for all that it has depreciated since the last time we depreciated it. So we last depreciated truck number one in 12-31-2018. So now we need to depreciate it for January, February, and March. We sold it on April 1, so we don't need to depreciate it for April because we sold it on the first day. So we're going to depreciate it for three months out of the year. So let's look and see how we're going to do this. All right, I'm going to delete my work right here, and I'm going to do some new work right here. It's going to look the same, but it always is good for um, me to show it again just for um, that practice. All right, so I'm selling truck number one, and I'm wanting to depreciate it right now for three months. All right, truck number one originally cost us $28,000. We need to say book value times our double declining balance. Let's remind ourselves how we get to that double declining balance. Straight line percent would be calculated one divided by four because they told me this asset's going to last four years. I double that to get to 50%, so that's my double declining balance percentage that I'll use every time I depreciate this truck, because this truck has a four-year life. All right, the formula for double declining balance is book um, value times percentage, double declining balance percentage. Well, the question is, what is my book value right now? So right now, my book value is equal to the original cost minus the amount that I had depreciated it. So the original cost is 28,000. And how much did I depreciate it um, in 2018? 14,000, so I subtract out 14,000. So right now my book value is 14,000 times 50%. So the year's depreciation would be $7,000. But it's not the end of 2019, it's only three months into the year. So what I need to do now is say times three months out of 12. Oh, I didn't like that. Equals. Oh, I know why. Because I wanted to show it like this. So I'm going to say times three months out of 12. And what that's going to do is just give me three months worth of depreciation. So if I say 7,000, the whole year's depreciation, times three divided by 12, I can see that I need to depreciate it 1750, which is the March 31st depreciation. Depreciation for months one to three. All right, so let's do it. The journal entry for any depreciation is depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation. And this is for truck number one, because that's what we're about to sell. And we calculated the January to March depreciation to be $17.50. And now we are ready to sell that truck because we have depreciated it. We're just following the instructions here. It says recorded, it says um, sold the truck for $15,000 and recorded depreciation for the truck. So we recorded the depreciation. Now let's sell it. All right, the cost of my truck that I'm selling was originally $28,000. How much have I depreciated so far? So I depreciated at 14,000 in year one, and how much did I just now depreciate it for, for three months? 1750. So 14,000 plus 1750, and that lets me calculate my book value. Book value is always asset minus accumulated depreciation. So 28,000 minus 15,750 is my book value. Now let's compare that to proceeds to see if we have a gain or a loss. My proceeds are told here. It says sold the truck for $15,000. So that means that I sold it for $15,000. So my proceeds, that's the money I got for selling this, is $15,000. And that looks like it would be 
bigger than my book value. So we are in a gain of 27.50. All right, so that's how I can calculate my gain. Now I'm gonna show that in a journal entry to actually sell my truck. All right, so first of all, I need to show the cash that I got. So my cash goes up by the amount that I received for this truck, $15,000. And then I need to get rid of my accumulated depreciation because after I sell this truck, I don't need that account anymore. So accumulated depreciation is a contra asset. So it has a credit balance. So to get rid of it, I debit it. So I'm going to say accumulated depreciation. I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to debit it for $15,750. And then I'm going to get rid of the truck because I sold it. So I'm going to credit truck because the truck has a normal debit balance. So I'm going to credit it to get rid of it. And then the remaining entry that I need to balance is my gain. Gains work like revenue, so they have a credit balance. So I'm going to call this a gain, technically gain on sale of truck, and that's for $27.50. So I look to make sure that I'm in balance. Here I have $13,750, I believe, and here I have $30,750, sorry. And then here I also have $30,750, so I am in balance. My debits equal my credit, and I'm finished with selling my truck. All right, so what happens after I sold this truck? Well, I'm showing that I got cash and I have a gain, and I'm selling that, showing that I got rid of the accumulated depreciation and got rid of the truck because that's what's gone. All right, 611. Paid garage 450 for miscellaneous repairs to the truck. This is another revenue expenditure, which just means that we're going to debit repair expense. and credit cash because it says that we paid cash for this. And so that amount was $450. Now we need to record depreciation for the new truck, okay, which is truck number two. So truck number two, we haven't ever depreciated, so we need to read about it to figure out what to do. So it has an estimated residual value of $9,000, which we do not use that until the last year. So we don't actually need that residual value. Um, and an estimated life of five years, it says. All right, so we paid $48,000 for this. We haven't ever depreciated it, so that is my current book value, and I just need to figure out what my double declining percentage is for this one. So um, to calculate straight line depreciation, it's one divided by five, because it told me this was a five year, so that's 20%. I double 20%, so I get 40%. So I'm just going to apply the 40% double declining balance to my $48,000, and that is my depreciation for this whole year, $19,200. All right, so debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation for truck number two, and the amount is $19,200. And that's because it's a five-year asset, so it's double declining balance percentage is 40%. All right, in 2020, we bought another new truck, truck number three. So we're going to debit truck number three, $54,000. Credit cash, $54,000. All right, so next we're going to sell truck number two for $16,750. But first, we need to record the depreciation for truck number two to date. So we last depreciated truck number two through December 31st of 2019. So we just need to calculate depreciation for 2020, which is just going to be from January until the beginning of October. So that is all of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and September, because we don't go through the end of October. So that's just nine months. All right, so let's see what we need to do. We remember that our double declining balance for this truck, number two, was 40%. All right, so let's see. We're going to have, we need to figure out book value first. So book value, all right, which is the cost of the truck minus accumulated depreciation. So the cost of truck number two was $48,000. And the amount that we have accumulated depreciation for would be 
I just did that, didn't I? Would just be the amount that we depreciated it from last year because we've only depreciated it one time, so that's 19200 So that means that my book value right now is 48000 minus 19200 that's 28800 and then I need to apply my double de declining balance percentage to that, which I have determined is 40% because this was a five-year asset. So my depreciation for the entire year would have been 11520 However, I'm only going nine months. So my time is... 9 divided by 12, 9 months out of 12 months. So my depreciation just from January to the end of 9, or I guess I should be more specific to 10 1, is going to be 11,520 times 9 divided by 12, and that is equal to 8640. So that's how much I need to depreciate right now. All right, so to depreciate anything, it is depreciation expense, debit, and accumulated depreciation, truck number two, because that's what we're selling. And we calculate that number to be 86.40 to just give us the nine months. All right, now let's sell this truck. All right, so. Sell on truck number two. It originally cost us forty-eight thousand dollars. We have accumulated it. We have accumulated depreciation two years in a row now. We have the nineteen thousand two hundred, and then the nine months from this year, which is eighty-six forty. So our accumulated depreciation are both of those numbers. So twenty-seven thousand eight forty. So our current book value, which is just truck minus accumulated depreciation, is twenty thousand one sixty. How much do we get for this? So we read and it says that we sold truck for $16,750. So the proceeds are $16,750. We compare that and this time we have a loss because the proceeds that we received are less than our book value. So this is a loss. Losses work like expenses on the income statement and so therefore they are a debit. So let's go and journalize this. All right, so we received cash of $16,750 so we debit it. We get rid of our accumulated depreciation account. So to get rid of that, we need to debit it. It has $27,840 in it right now. We need to recognize a loss, which has a normal debit balance because losses work like expenses, which means that they get debited. And we need to get rid of our truck, which originally cost us $48,000. So we credit that. We add up our debits and they equal $48,000. And we can see that our credit equals $48,000. So we are finished with selling our asset. All right, the final entry for this problem is 1231. We record depreciation on the remaining truck. It has an estimated residual value of $12,000, which we do not care about that until the final year, and we're just in year one. Um, so all we need is the cost and how um, long its useful life is. It has a useful life of eight years. So for this newest truck, one divided by eight gives us the straight line percent. Double that to get the double declining balance percent. Apply that to the book value. The book value is still $54,000 because we've not depreciated it yet. So 54,000 times 0.25 is the amount of our depreciation. And it's for a whole year, so it's times 12, 12, or times one. So we can just take the whole 13,500. The entry to record depreciation is always depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation truck number three. And we calculated that for the entire year to be 13,500. So that concludes our problem. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.